When we first met LaVonda Paul, who runs a daycare on the outskirts of Greenville, she was worried lawmakers were on the verge of abolishing her only hope for health insurance. How can you just wipe out something that so many people need? What else starts with a G? More than eight months later, Paul is no longer an ACA customer after getting married over the summer and being added to her husband's insurance. Paul says her plan had gone from $166 a month to nearly $450 a month. I was like, how could they do this? Um, there's so many people like myself in the same position or was in that position at that time, you know, that do have chronic illnesses or, or really do need insurance. They're left too with what to do. And now rates are set to rise again, more than 31% in 2018. Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina says higher drug costs and medical inflation are to blame, along with uncertainty over the future of ACA. State Insurance Director Ray Farmer said today, it's up to the federal government and Congress to fix it, and so far they have not. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. For Paul, the rate hike is no longer an issue, but she says it almost was. No parent wants to go without insurance for their family, but you're left with those kind of decisions to make. Do I go with or without?